This is bending it, itself against him. Um, He's like, bending the greatest player against himself, <laughs> Caseless, for more of a challenge, obviously. Yeah, obviously. So we have the Hellions uh, going to try to maneuver around here. And actually, you know, it, to MVP's credit, MVP is actually now ahead in supply. That's hard to explain, but that's the case. Yeah, it's it's a little bit wild, man. You know, he's oh, yes, very he's, well. Yes, he needs. Oh, man. At the same time, we have a huge drop going on. A drop in the main. And this is going to be pretty scary. That's a lot of Marauders. These aliens are not going to do anything against those. Killing off factories can be huge. Instead, he's going to give up a lot of these. And, well, the Cloak Banshees will easily, easily clean that. But look at that. A factory does go down. Very painful right there for MVP. Nice little move there. Uh, by MMA, moving over there, doing the damage you can. A little bit of an impulse stim we saw there. Stim, he's like, ah, never mind. <laughs> so, let's see here, the supply count now. Okay, MMA now getting back into the lead with a 10 supply lead, but that's not a massive lead. It's not one that's going to be too hard to recover from. And I, keep, I think again here he wants to go for a contain. Well, we have a lot of Siege Shanks coming out right now. Tasteless, a lot of Vikings as well. Taking out Medivacs, beautiful moves right there. And the Banshees are going to be a constant hindrance to this army. You know, the Banshees, they force some more Marines in there. The Marines just do terribly against Siege Tanks and Hellions both. So just having those added in make that army twice as scary to MMA. Absolutely. Now remember, we've seen games where uh, MVP has hung on for a long period of time with that mech army. They managed to come back because of the raw strength of it. But meanwhile, MMA attacking the factory yet again. And a couple scans off, picking off that one sea chink very well, but the Banshee's coming over, doing their job as always. And nope. Looks like at least one of these siege tanks will be killed off. You know, the one thing I have to say is MMA is just trying to get so aggressive. Ooh, nice job getting a Thor out there as well, by the way. That's going to be against the Banshees, against the Vikings. It's exactly what you want to do in this situation. Yeah, it's really smart. Oh, the Medivacs taking so much damage. That's right, just two left. One of them oh so low on health. A fourth base going up for MMA. But it's a little bit late. We already have the fourth command center for MVP almost completed. And he's going to go down and take his third in just a second. All right, we have the Vikings coming out here, moving around. And look, MVP is kind of in a tough situation. He's basically in jail right now. I mean, MMA could just move around the map. Uh, you know, he has control. And it's going to be tough because MVP is probably going to have to wait until he's maxed out to leave his base. And by then, MMA is going to have a massive econ lead. Oh, look at this. The Hellions finding that fourth base, getting rid of that SCV, and that's going to be so annoying for him to send more SCVs and defend it. A little piece of his army always over there is not what he wants to do here. More and more barracks being planted down here, and there are more siege tanks on the way here. This is going to be interesting. It looks like the northern uh, location over here, one of the possible third bases you could take if you spawn at the right uh, spawn location. He's going to go ahead and then take that... Uh, uh, oh. Hold on. The factory getting low, getting low, getting low, getting low. And he destroys it. And he's actually going to get the second one. He has to lift now. Yeah. It's smart for him to finally move My those God. factories. He's lost so many on the edge. Uh, it's pretty stubborn of MVP. But finally, he does move them over. And it looks like he's going to change the location of his third base. Oh my oh, god! He's gonna, gonna be hard. try to move out. A lot of SCVs coming as well. Good scans going down. And he has to break through here right now, Tasteless, losing a lot of his SCVs. His siege tanks out of range of his opponents, but does take down. Oh, will he take down one more? If only one siege tank is left, it's not so bad. All right, I know there's going to be a large army spilling up here for MMA. He's going to get the rest of his reinforcements uh, that were protecting other important parts of the map. He's going to regroup, and he's going to try to smash MVP. Well, you know, he might be able to. Right now, the SCV count is at 60 for MMA, 34 for MVP. So even though he broke out of that little contain, there's going to be another one. This transition into mass sea shanks has been beautiful out of MMA. And that is going to make it so hard for MVP to actually move up there. All right. He's coming again, guys. He's got his SCVs, but there is siege tanks that are in range here. 
uh, of this blue base. Oh. He needs to get something to deal with those Banshees and deal with it quickly. He cannot afford to lose tanks. Otherwise, MVP is going to be back into this game. And that's not something that MMA wants. MMA wants to end this game and try to focus on that final game for victory. MVP, I think, is actually moving out too far right now, Tasteless. He does not want to get out here and get surrounded. He's got to siege up. He's got to be careful. Moving into siege shank range. MMA, though, not stimming and running up. You know, at this point in time, I would have taken all of my SCDs and attacked that center location with the rest of my army and tried to, to siege up over there. But I don't know. I guess he feels differently. You know, these Banshees right now are making the entire difference in this game. Almost no Marines are left. Looks like, in fact, there's only two Marines in that army. It has to move back to a missile turret. And now we have the Hellions coming over here. Oh, no. Taking out these SCDs. I know the MVP fans are going to be happy about this. Uh, doing a lot of damage to that economy. Still so many Marauders and not really anything to deal with the Banshees. You know, MVP right now is relying upon mules so heavily tasteless, and there's a huge counterattack coming around, maybe even for a flank. That's a lot of Marauders. That third base is going to have to be lifted up. Okay, and going win. for the siege tanks uh, before they can get into siege mode. And Just now he backs off. Deciding not to siege because he does have those Banshees for that additional damage, which is so crucial. Right now, MVP is just working very hard to try to get into a position so that MMA cannot run around as much from. Yeah. If he can do that, if he can get a light contain on or even a hard contain on with all those siege tanks, then MMA is going to be stuck in his base, unable to do anything else. Exactly. So right now, MMA is just trying to figure out a way to just kill off this expansion, but M MVP uh, is just so good at maneuvering around the map. Uh-oh. This is a danger move, Tasteless. Yeah, this is very gutsy. And we see uh, MMA is right now pulling back those four cloak Banshees being worth just so much right now. Just absolutely ravaging these add-ons and making we them lift off. We saw a little counter tank over here at that expansion. Thor doing a ton of damage to those Banshees. And I have to say I'm actually pretty surprised to see um, MVP doing a move like this down here in this location. Uh, Sieging up getting closer to the factories. Oh, that's huge. Stopping oh, Siege Tank production is huge. And Oh, nice lift off, but there's a lot of Marines in there because of the Banshees. So it looks like he will be able to get that orbital and command. that orbital getting lower. It has just been destroyed. Oh my god, you know what? I think once again we're going to have to see GG here. Uh, I do not see any way that MMA it can lose this game. Oh, well, you know, this is he is definitely killing his opponent. But at the same time, all these Vikings and Banshees what in the world? We actually see a huge turnaround here. This is a lot of seed shanks with them as well. And, you know, these Banshees may end up making the entire difference in everything here. You know what? Oh, my God. I think you might actually be right. In fact, the army here uh, from M uh, MVP is actually so scary. I don't know. Uh, the SCV is going now to that new expansion. Uh, the production facility is now under fire as he is trying to... Uh, just get a good idea of what exactly he needs to do to come back in the situation. And look at this, all these blue flame aliens oh, going after no. this base, trying to call off the rest of these SCVs, but look at that, the bunker beautifully done, bringing over some more units as well, trying to clean up all of these Hellions, and he can't lose Hellions right now, Tasteless. He needs every single unit he can possibly get. All right, looks like MVP no longer really has much of a base. It's in shambles, it's been trashed. Uh, and MMA, all he has to do is take care of these two Banshees and this group of Siege Tanks. But don't forget, every resource location is under threat right now. Oh. We could be in a base trade scenario. Oh, and he gets one Banshee, then loses a huge chunk of his army right now. 44 supply to 87. 21 SCVs against just two SCVs. Oh my god, what a completely bizarre game we're seeing here. Um, now here's a few things. If we're in a base trade scenario, which we are, remember that the uh, Vikings are great because you can go down and shoot uh, uh, shoot down a flying building it's somewhere else on the map. Uh, right now, the, uh, uh, the uh, infantry-based army from MMA, he does not have that luxury. So we are actually seeing a base trade here, guys. That is right. But, you know, MMA still has that one mining base that MVP does know about. He's building more and more barracks over there. He's just trying to get out any additional units. Anything oh. he can get out. And here we go. He's going to have to remove this. But does get another siege and gets a few more units of MVP. MVP is not producing. He's got nothing building. 
all the time here. We're going to have MMA still making units, so he's definitely got a leg up here. Yeah, and as you can see, one Marauder here as he slowly destroys Whoa. all these structures. And I don't know, guys. It's going to be tough. If the siege tanks here are killed, and I think it's the most important part of MVP's army, if the siege tanks are killed, there's no way you can win this with just Vikings. That's right. The, the Vikings won't do anything against these three one-upgraded Marines and Marauders. And in fact, I feel like that army can just run over what MVP has. And he's oh, going to try oh. it. MMA going in for the kill right now. That is going to be has it. Got it. MMA. And that is going to be GG as MMA is so close. So close. Going through with a win here. One, I'm getting nerd chills. One more game. One more is all MMA needs to get his first GSL championship. You know what's interesting is uh, when we were outside, maybe what, 10 minutes before we went live, uh, one of the guys that watches the show that bumped into us said, What are your predictions for the games? And, you know, Artosa said it, and I agreed. He said, It's going to be a 4 1. It'll be a 4 1, but we said MVP was going to win. We might have been completely wrong. It might have been the other way around. We could see a 4-1 here with MMA pulling through. It, it looks like it might be that, in fact. I mean, he's just, he's so tight with his builds. He's making the best decisions I've seen out of a Marine Marauder guy. That tank transition, Tasteless, that's what that game was all about, okay? He got the map control. He got up the earlier bases. He out-expanded his opponent a little bit and then set up a sick siege tank line. And with that, plus stimming and running in, if your opponent tries to break it, that's very, very hard to stop. It can be stopped with mech, but it's the hardest thing in the world to do. And if you have no ravens, in fact, it seems impossible. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Um, I have to say, I am I'm just loving this. Now, I know that MVP was going, the favorite uh, still. Is there anybody here who thinks that MVP can win this? You guys cheering for MVP? All right, and how about those guys that want to see MMA win this with 4-1? That's a lot of people, too. That's a lot of people. Well. Well. When our Greek commentators are ready to wrap it up, we will uh, go ahead and close out here um, for a little bit. But these games are turning out to be so exciting. Uh, you know, especially when you consider what the story is that we've seen unfolding here. It's, you know, a really surprising thing. All right, and now I've been queued to have a three-minute break, so don't go too far away. For uh, the Cassian Archon, Tasis and Artosis, we'll be back pretty soon.